All right, people. We got a very, very, very big review today. As you can see, this is the new figure from Godzilla x Kong the New Emperor. I mean, not really new. It's been around for a long time, but I've been wanting to, like, get this, make a review of it. And I'll tell you why it's awesome in a minute. Okay, so... Unexpected. There's a clipper on the tail. Alright. So, we gotta, like, put it into the tail to get bonkers. Alright. Let's wait. I gotta read the instructions. As you can see now, we have connected the tail to the body. Tail has a very nice range of swivels and articulation. Now let's go over, so first we're gonna go over the design. I love this, honestly, very nice paint job on it. And as you can see, I really like the detailing on the stomach, like the stomach color. And I'm pretty sure the head moves. Yeah, it does, but a little bit. And the detailing on the tail tip is very nice actually, and bendy. All right, now, now the parts that, now here are the parts that could have been done better. This spike right here, it was supposed to be painted pink, along with this other one from the other part. But that's honestly kind of okay, it doesn't really bother me at all. Now, now the part that, com that people are complaining about the most, which is, I don't even know, I don't even think they should be. This part right here is transparent, right? And this part right here is a different color. I know, I know, it's a different color. Doesn't, doesn't fit in well. But people, does it really matter? You should be like at least kind of grateful that Playmates tried their best with this figure. And and another thing that people are hating on this figure is because of its eye color. Now we really don't get a good look as at Godzilla's eyes when he's normal. So, should we really be complaining about this? Now, let's go over articulation. First, there's, there are swivels at the feet. The tail, the tail can move fairly well. Just gotta loosen that up a little bit. The, arm, the arms move up and down like a Bandai figure. Whoa. And the legs move just like a Bandai figure. Now the head moves side to side a little bit, but it's still good. Now, accessories. This figure only comes with one accessory, but that's really not much of a problem. Hold on, let me get it out of the box really quick. All right, now as I was saying earlier, this figure only comes with one accessory, which is the atomic breath piece. Now, I'm not quite sure about how you put this in. I think you... Oh, yeah. So you put it in just like this. There's a hole on the top of the mouth. Now, when it's in this pose, I think it looks awesome. I mean, we all do, really. And some people are hating on the head because it's made out of rubber. But I can clearly see why they made it out of rubber. You see this? This has a little hole in it. If, if, if the head wasn't made out of rubber, if the head wasn't made out of rubber, then this atomic breath piece would never be able to get fit in there. Anyways, we went over all the base, the base things about the figure. Now, let's compare it to other figures. Here it is compared to Jack Specific Mini 2019 Godzilla. Bandai Final Wars Gigan. Kiryu. And the Playmates Skull Crawler, which I modified a little bit. Honestly, Playmates, this overall this might be one of your best figures. Now, as you can see, there's a big difference with the dorsal plates from the 2019 one and 2021 version compared to this one. Anyways, guys, that's gonna wrap it up for, for today's video. Make sure to like and subscribe and hit that notification bell so you'll never miss out when a new video comes out. At, at least if your YouTube loads cor correctly. Anyways, bye-bye.